much all of human history, it's been believed that the moon can affect our behaviour. The great Roman philosopher Pliny suggested that a full moon caused more dew on the ground, leading to water in the brain and thus madness. <laughs> of interesting theory. A bit of extra moisture in the grass leads us to have a soggy brain. But the Romans weren't the only ones who believed that that bright, shiny thing in the night sky, over 380,000 kilometres away, can affect our behaviour. After all, the old word for madness, lunacy, comes from the Latin for the moon, luna. And it's not only madness. Over the ages, the full moon has been blamed for everything from fights at sporting games to an increase in animals biting. And, of course, lycanthropy. You know, that terrifyingly creepy part of the movie where the clouds part to reveal the full moon, the rays fall on the actor's face, and he slowly turns into a werewolf. When I worked in emergency and later in the psychiatry department, people would often look at their rosters and say, oh no, Thursday's going to be tough, it's a full moon. And sure enough, come Friday, there are all these horror stories about how crazy the night had been. The theory goes like this. The moon exerts a gravitational effect on the waters of the ocean. So at a full moon, we have a high tide. As the brain is made of around 80% water, a full moon must be exerting some kind of an effect, causing us all to go mad. Huh, sounds reasonable. <laughs> well, not really. It turns out that the moon's gravitational pull is not just strongest at a full moon, but also at a new moon, when you can barely see it. And it turns out that the effect on the human body is, in fact, minuscule. Astronomers tell us that a mosquito sitting on your forearm will exert as strong a gravitational effect as a full moon. And <laughs> you don't hear anyone talking about mosquito madness. And if you still don't believe me, proper scientific studies have shown no connection between a full moon and crimes, suicides, psychiatric admissions, or calls to helplines. <laughs> and science also tells us that even if you drink rainwater from the footprint of a wolf or sleep outside under a full moon, you still won't turn into a werewolf. But who wants to listen to the boffins? After all, if you believe the scientists, there's no such thing as the Loch Ness Monster. And the moon isn't made of green cheese. Oh, boring. Houston.